Hello everyone. Welcome to Tech Logics. Today, we're exploring how to integrate a TP-Link PoE splitter to supply power and LAN network connectivity to a Wi-Fi router or modem from a CCTV system PoE switch. This device is a great tool for simplifying your tech setup by enabling non-PoE devices to receive both data and power efficiently. The TP-Link TL POE10 are splitter separates data and power from a single Ethernet cable linked to a PoE-enabled switch or injector. It converts the incoming 48-volt power to a selectable lower voltage, 12-volt 1 amp, 9-volt 1 amp, or 5-volt 2 amps, and offers two essential outputs, an Ethernet port for data connectivity and a DC output jack for device power. By utilizing this PoE splitter, you can connect your Wi-Fi modem, router, or access point over a distance of up to 100 meters with a single Ethernet cable, enabling installation in locations without immediate access to a power point. This feature is particularly useful for placing devices in optimal locations for signal strength and coverage without being constrained by power outlet locations. Note, while some PoE splitters offer a constant DC 12 volt output suitable for devices that operate solely at 12 volt, the TP-Link TL PoE 10 R splitter provides greater flexibility by offering selectable output voltages, 12 volt, 9 volt, or 5 volt. This adjustable feature allows it to support a wider range of network devices with different power requirements, ensuring compatibility and protecting devices from over or under voltage issues. As a result, it serves as a more versatile solution for various networking and security applications, accommodating different devices that may need different voltage levels to operate effectively. In this demonstration system, the IP CCTV cameras and NVR, network video recorder, are connected to a PoE switch, which supplies both power and data through a single Ethernet connection for the IP cameras. This setup simplifies installation by reducing the need for multiple power outlets and cables, ensuring that the cameras are powered and connected for seamless surveillance operation. The PoE switch acts as a central hub, managing all these connections efficiently and reliably. To extend the network and power supply to a Wi-Fi router, modem, or access point that may not support PoE, we use the TP-Link PoE splitter. The splitter connects to the same PoE switch via Ethernet, extracting the power and data. It converts the Ethernet's PoE voltage to a suitable lower voltage, like 12V, 9V, or 5V, for the non-PoE device. This allows the router or access point to receive both power and network connectivity through a single cable, making it easier to deploy devices in locations where power outlets are not readily available, and ensuring a clean, simplified network infrastructure. The animated diagram serves as a visual guide to help users understand how to connect non-PoE-enabled wireless devices, such as routers or access points, to a PoE switch using the TP-Link TL PoE 10 or PoE splitter. It clearly illustrates the steps involved, showing how the Ethernet cable from the PoE switch connects to the splitter, which then separates power and data. This visual aid simplifies the installation process, making it easier for users to see where and how to connect each component correctly. By following the diagram, users can see how the PoE switch provides power and data through a single Ethernet cable, with the splitter enabling these signals to be properly routed to non-PoE devices. The splitter converts the PoE voltage into a suitable lower voltage, such as 12V, 9V, or 5V, allowing devices that are not PoE compatible to receive both power and network connectivity from the same cable. This approach helps create a more flexible and organized network setup, especially in areas where power outlets are limited or inconvenient to access. To begin connecting your Wi-Fi modem or router, start by plugging one end of a CAT6 Ethernet cable into a PoE port on the PoE switch. This connection supplies both data and electrical power through a single cable, simplifying the setup process. On the other end of the cable, Connect it to the Ethernet input port of the TP-Link PoE splitter adapter. The splitter acts as an intermediary device, effectively separating the incoming power and data signals, making it suitable for devices that do not support PoE natively. Next, connect the LAN port from the splitter to the Ethernet port of your Wi-Fi router or access point to enable data transfer. Simultaneously, Connect the DC output from the splitter to your device's power input to provide it with the necessary electrical power. 
it's essential to verify the power requirements of your device, as different Wi-Fi devices may need different voltages. Check the device's input voltage and current specifications written on its panel, then adjust the splitter's voltage switch accordingly to match these requirements. After selecting the correct DC power output on the splitter, connect the DC power cable from the splitter to your device's power input. This ensures your Wi-Fi device receives both power and data through a single, streamlined connection. When the PoE is connected to the splitter's input, a green light will blink slowly, indicating the splitter is receiving power from the PoE source. Once the device is properly connected to the LAN and DC ports, the LED will become steady, confirming the splitter is working correctly and supplying both power and data as intended. This visual indicator provides reassurance that your setup is functioning properly, helping you verify that the connection is stable and your network devices are powered safely. Following these steps carefully will ensure a reliable and efficient connection, reducing the need for multiple cables and power outlets, and allowing flexible placement of your Wi-Fi router or access point in the most optimal location. Finally, as demonstrated, the router is successfully powered and capable of transmitting or receiving internet data depending on your configuration through the PoE switch. This setup ensures a reliable connection and simplifies device deployment by combining power and data delivery in a streamlined manner. With everything properly connected, your network is now ready to support your internet needs efficiently. If you found this video helpful, we would greatly appreciate your support. Your contributions help us create more informative content and continue providing valuable resources to our audience. Whether you like the video, share it with others, or subscribe to our channel, every bit of support truly makes a difference. Thank you for being part of our community, and stay tuned for more helpful tutorials.